Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Harry Torn, and welcome back to Victoria 3 as we are playing as Japan. So, I hope everybody had a good New Year's weekend. I probably had too good a weekend. I'm still recovering from it. But yeah, you'll notice here that I have set the interest groups to be shown on the right side. I had one person ask me to put them up here, and I typically don't do so because they take up, you know, so much of the screen and they're kind of distracting. Uh, and, and frankly, you don't really need them uh, usually. But in our case, this would be useful since we're having to come in here and check all the time on how well we are doing on getting the Shogunate's power down. So yeah, I think that this is going to be helpful for this particular series, at least for this particular moment. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and let it play. Uh, there is one key thing we have to do here. Well, it looks like it's not as bad. There was two locations before uh, we were lacking market access, but now it's just the one. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, we're going to get the railways anywhere where it's needed. So if they're getting close to the infrastructure limit, then we'll go ahead and build there as well. So it looks like just the two locations for now. Yeah, uh, this one here, I'm surprised that we're having so much issues. We're not even building there. I'm guessing this has to do with, uh, well, they have peasants. I was going to say a shortage of, of labor, but yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, another thing that we needed to do here is we're going to try and get this law passed a little bit faster by getting rid of some of these decrees we have, particularly the social mobility ones. We're going to get rid of both of those. While it is helpful, of course, uh, getting the qualifications faster and particularly that education access so we can get the literacy rate up. I think in this case, getting that extra percentage would be helpful as we're trying to enact this basically uh, impossible law here. We just cannot get it done. Uh, but hopefully this will be the time, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our market and see what we need to build. So we already know about the price of clippers, which we're currently working on by building those two shipyards. That's probably because of all that fishing, uh, the fishing wharfs that we built. Sugar's still a problem. Uh, There's not a whole lot to be done about that besides just building more rice farms. Suppose we'll work on the price of fabric and then fertilizer. Yeah, so let's go and start with the cotton plantations and we'll just build those over here. We'll get like three of those. And then I guess while we're in here, we can also get one more silk farm as well, or silk plantation. And then we need to get, what's the other thing? One more thing here, the uh, fertilizer. So we want the chemical plants. And we'll just go ahead and build, uh, we'll get like three of those. Try to get fertilizer uh, prices down a little bit. So we're down to 28.9% here on the Shogun. Remember, we did just change up those ownership production methods. So we're going to see their power declining here. Hopefully rapidly. Yeah, you can see it's dropping pretty fast. And that's going to go in favor of the industrialists. Uh, the Buddhist monks are also losing power as the industrialists are gaining a higher percentage of the clout. You see there they have moved into the second place slot. Samurai pretty weak as well. Peasants are actually, uh, it looks like it's fluctuating. Went down for a while, maybe going back up a little bit. But they should lose power as well. This should all result in the industrialists getting more influence overall. So the Shogun can intervene. Excellent. So this is the one we always want to get here. Uh, very helpful. We've gotten it once uh, once before for dedicated police force, but it wasn't enough because then we got a bunch of uh, negative penalties there. So hopefully this will be the time, guys. I mean, this is, I don't even know how many times we're trying to pass this, this law, but maybe we'll get it done and that'll really help reduce the Shogun's power even further and also make it so that the police force is actually somewhat useful because uh, right now it doesn't really give very good bonuses overall. So I'm really hoping we get it done, guys. Uh, prejudiced employees, I think we've seen this event before and we're just gonna keep on going with the same option here. And looks like legitimacy is an issue as we've reduced the power of the Shogun. So now we're in the unacceptable government. So honestly, this is pretty negative here. I don't think there's much we can do. Yeah, there's really not anything we can do because we have to keep the samurai in to, to get that law passed. And that's really what the, the problem is. Um, I think that's one of the biggest issues with me having to do this is uh, keeping our, our legitimacy so low just to try and get this law passed. I suppose what we could do is try and make the samurai more powerful by investing more in our military. Maybe get this up to 125 battalions. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. Uh, just try and try and get the samurai a little bit more powerful. So we're already taking care of that problem there. Uh, also, we got this little event here. Uh, we'll just go with the 
one that reduces the opinion of the industrialists. Although they're, they're not as high as I thought they'd be. Okay, so yeah, we'll just have to go with that for now. And then, yeah, we want to set this up by about 15. Yeah, we'll do 15. So let's go ahead and go with five here. And then maybe 10 here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then later we'll invest in other, other states. We have such a high population in those two locations. So I'll work on those. That shouldn't take too long to get done. And maybe we want to tick those up to the very top here. Just because they are really quick and... Oops, would help if I held Alt here. Yeah, they're really quick and, and the whole purpose, of course, is trying to get our legitimacy up some. I, I don't know how much effect they'll have on the Samurai. Right now they're 8.5%. So we'll see. This is also going to affect the prices of military goods, though. Uh, although I don't think we're actually using any military goods. Yeah, you know what, guys? I don't think we're using any military goods at the moment. Uh, another thing we could do is step up our construction here. Because it looks like we're earning pretty good money at the moment. So yeah, let's go ahead and just step up construction a little bit. Hopefully, that's not too much. We should be good. And we'll also want to tick that up to the top so that it's going to be utilized. Yeah, we'll get all those up to the top there. Although I guess these barracks were just not done as well. Uh, with this event, let's go with... Probably the one that reduces the Shogun's power that makes the most sense. And we don't want to piss off the Industrialists any further. And uh, hopefully we can get this done, guys. We're at 25% for the Shogun. Uh, industrialists are very powerful now. 23% are very powerful compared to how they were. Uh, Samurai, it looks like the percentage went up by a little bit, but they haven't gotten all those employees yet. Uh, and it looks like we got the, the negative there as well. Of course we did. Of course we did. So yeah, didn't seem to have much of an effect. Maybe 0.1% uh, perhaps, and it just went down anyways. Now remember, soldiers don't always uh, support the military interest group, but they do in larger numbers. But I don't think it's having an effect because of how much clout the industrialists are currently getting. Uh, we actually have some spare uh, construction. That's not the right button at all, is it? Uh, so let's go ahead and get something constructing here. How's glass prices doing? Yeah, we probably don't want to do too much on that front. Uh, can we do anything just to help boost the porcelain? Or already, uh, yeah, we're already on bone china, so nothing be done there. All we can really do is is build more of them. So I suppose we will. Let's get maybe just one or two because again, the, the glass prices are not all that bad right now. So it's something to consider. And we'll build over here. Yeah, maybe just one, guys, because, yeah, the glass prices are already pretty low as it is. Just trying to get some porcelain to bring the price down a bit. It's the same thing with the, uh, the clothing and the furniture. Yeah, you could do a little bit for the clothing, a little bit for the furniture, but, yeah, you're going to cause problems if you do too much. We've already started working on the fertilizer. Uh, I think we did something for the silk. If I'm not mistaken, we might have got one. Uh, if not, we could always do another one, though. Supposed to do the tea as well, but overall prices are pretty good. What we should consider is the low prices on some of these. Now, sulfurs, there's not a whole lot for us to do about that right now. I mean, I can make sure that all of our production methods are being used, but I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, we're already using that one. I don't think there's much for us to switch between. Yeah, here we, we already decided we didn't want to do that because of the sugar prices. And uh, groceries aren't too bad. Uh, how are we doing on steel prices? Steel prices seem to be pretty low right now, so probably don't want to make any adjustments there. Uh, what about coal prices? Well, they're not down here at the bottom, so we don't really need to do anything about that. Yeah, I don't really think there's much we can do uh, besides maybe producing less hardwood. But even the wood prices aren't bad. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to do about any of these, unfortunately. Looks like we built too many clippers, though. Yeah, we'll just have to leave them as is. When you don't have trade, your, your ability to, to make adjustments with your prices is pretty limited. So we're gonna do a couple furniture manufacturers, and then a couple textile mills, maybe three textile mills. Yeah, we'll do like three of these here. And I guess we could do the groceries 
hesitant to do so because of sugar prices. Yeah, I mean, really, our prices are in a fantastic position across the board for the most part outside of these luxury goods. And I guess there's the, the prices that are too cheap, so there's always that as well. But yeah, there's not too much adjustment needs to be made. Uh, really, we need to step up demand for goods. So we should do another fishing wharf. Yeah, we'll do that. And where do we want these? Just looking at the uh, population here. Interesting that uh, Shubu, Shubu location, they have uh, the highest population now. So we clearly have not been building enough in there. Found more gold here. All right, excellent. Well, looks like I've got a couple events we need to interact with. We'll just build these in Kanto. Got like three of them or whatever. And we got those gold rush events. Okay, so we'll go with the... Let's go with this one. Get more money out of this. Uh, that'd be helpful. All right, so let's hope that we get something good here. I think this is the last attempt I'm going to do. I mean, really, we, we just can't keep doing it. Uh, the legitimacy just keeps on dropping, and we're, we're getting a lot of radicals from this. Decreased again. Yeah, if we fail again, guys, I'm, I'm done with the, the dedicated police force. It's ridiculous how, how challenging this has been. And I really just don't like uh, Victoria's... A uh, law system. It's just not. Uh, damn, that's a bummer. We missed that opportunity to pass that. I mean, I didn't. It's not the one I wanted, but uh, it'd be better than what we currently have. Uh, let's go. We'll go with this one. The party will never end. But yeah, I really just don't like the randomness of the system overall. I uh, got more prestige. You're not a huge fan of the law system. And, and there's really not a whole lot you can do to interact with it as a player as well. You can, of course, impact the percentage a bit by the interest groups. You know, you can influence those. Uh, we got that dynamite. That's the one we're researching. 25% resource discovery chance. But most importantly, we can go and make some adjustments to our production methods. Uh, so let's go and do that now. So as of right now, we're not producing any explosives. So that'll be changing. Now we'll be putting these into our mines, the dynamite. Though we might not want to put it everywhere because of the low prices for some of these. I suppose lead isn't too bad. Yeah, I guess everything's not too bad, guys. I think we're going to just change them up now. Uh, even coal's a little bit low uh, on price. I think we're going to change them all up anyways. Uh, you can see they're still profitable. Yeah, we're going to change all those up and then we'll need to start actually producing some explosives. The question is, how much are we going to need? It's really hard to say. We should probably wait until we see exactly what's going to be required here for the explosives before we make that adjustment. Uh, and then we can go and get another tech selected as well. So somebody told me, actually two people mentioned this, that the reason why it was taking so long to research these level threes is because apparently uh, Paradox made an adjustment where if you don't have all of the previous level's text, then the next level will be more expensive. I didn't see any mention of this in the patch notes. Not sure how I missed it, but if this is true, then it's a dumb change. Uh, I know the point is to make it so it's harder to uh, rush text, but I mean, they're already more expensive. That's, that's how they do that. I don't know. I just feel like if you want to rush text and you want to spend time researching something that takes longer, then you should be able to do that. I really don't like when developers uh, try and control their tech tree so so uh, so much that they, they're making it so you have to do all level 2 techs. Like, so if you don't do one level 2 tech, you're going to have a penalty to research, research in level 3? That's just stupid. What if a level 2 tech is completely worthless to me? Why should I spend the time researching it? Uh, so I really don't like that change if they did in fact do that. I sure hope not. It would make sense though, because these are very expensive. Far more than I was expecting them to be. So yeah, a really dumb change in my opinion. Uh, we're gonna go get the vacuum canning. We could actually make use of this. Of course, we can produce more fish at a decent price, and then the uh, the oil as well uh, with our wells, our whaling industry, uh, which is not a profitable industry. And so increasing the amount of money they're getting for oil, which as you guys have seen, there's no demand for oil right now. And we do need to, to fix this thing with the explosives. I was waiting to see how much we needed. It's 671, so quite a bit. Uh, we'll have to see if we can even produce that amount. I would think so at the, the highest level here, or close to it, 560 
yeah, not too bad. Uh, it'll produce less fertilizer as well. Okay, and it's going to use some of that coal and sulfur, which has gotten uh, cheaper. Now we're we'll going to change it up, and uh, we've already completed the booming industries. Excellent. So, do we want the throughput bonus for the chemical plants, for the mines, or for the munition plants? Probably not for that. Yeah, let's see how that would be beneficial. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with the industrial sector. Yeah, we'll do the, the mines. All right, so we'll need to take a look at our cost here and see if there's any adjustments that need to be made. So the explosives are kind of a bit expensive, as is the, the fertilizer since we're producing less of that. So that's clearly what we should be building here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get several more chemical plants, like four more. We got an event about untrained hands. So this is with uh, children, child labor. Uh, so we could say keep children off the factory floor and that will reduce dependent income. Or we say these new industries need all the employees they can get. And this would reduce the interest group approval of the trade unions and increase mortality. We'll just do this one here. I know it'll hurt our pops a little bit, but yeah, we need to get the kids off the factory floors. Of course, we could already change our laws for that. And we had the rousing speech event. All right, excellent. Very helpful. Uh, let's go and get that 15%. So we're at 38.5. I want to say this is the highest we have ever been for the dedicated police force. I don't want to speak too soon, but it feels like this might be the time that we finally get it done, guys. Uh, we are earning very good money here as well. And gold mines are likely helping. Uh, so we could always build up more on the construction shelter, uh, sectors, or we could just reduce some of these consumption taxes to help our pops out, uh, particularly on tea. Yeah, I think we're going to reduce the one on T. That makes sense. So let's go to remove that. And we still have money for spending. Actually, what we should have done is gone with the low taxes to get that legitimacy that we need. So let's go ahead and do that and then re put in that tax on the T. Though we could make more from porcelains. So maybe we'll do that instead. It's the same amount of authority. Just get us back into the positive here, and this will get us a much needed legitimacy because we had declined you know we're still at uh, 49 there but now we're at 54 so it puts us into the contested government so at least we're not getting the penalties we were getting for the unacceptable government the shogun is at 25.9 percent let's get a new production method for our steel mills but i don't think that's going to be necessary to put in place because I, I believe steel is pretty cheap right now yeah quite cheap all right, so yeah, explosives are still a problem. We're working on that now, though. I don't think that'll be too much of an issue once those are done. Uh, tools, though. Yeah, we need to get something going for the tools, so we'll do some more tooling workshops. And let's go ahead and go up to level 20 here. Uh, we need more fabric. I guess we can let this play now that we've gotten them constructing. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get more cotton plantations. The silk. Has increased in price by a little bit, so we can go and step that up as well. Looks like uh, we need to start building these in other locations because the uh, population there is the, the free population that we have available for for work has declined, while other places still have very high population. Uh, the tea plantations, I guess we'll go ahead and use these here. Yeah, we still have 1.5 million, so let's go up to level 10 here. And I think glass is still probably too cheap here, yeah, to really bother doing anything about the porcelain issues. Uh, groceries, I mean, get like one, but you know, the sugar prices are still a problem, so I don't want to. We'll do two, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to build too much there. Uh, the tobacco could be reduced, and we could look at transportation as well. And all this is helping to reduce the power of the Shogun. Uh, tobacco is the next thing we want to work on. And another 10% increase here. All right, guys. I feel like we're finally going to get it done. Uh, as long as we don't get another really horrible event here. Uh, the tobacco plantations. We're going to do those here because we just have so many people there. And then the transportation. So... Uh, the railways. Let's just see if there's anywhere. Yeah, we could build there. Yeah, you'll need it here as well. And some of those you might actually want to tick up to the top. 
All right, so I think we're pretty good to go here. It won't uh, drastically increase the transportation prices, but it'll increase it by a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and tick these up to the top. And we have that last railway there. All right, so we'll get those those uh, finished up. Though I suppose we should have finished these tooling workshops. Though I guess we're building quite a bit at once now. Maybe get one more. Yeah, we'll do one more construction sector here, guys. And let's go with this location here. And that's another one that we're gonna want to tick up to the top there. And we did it, finally, guys. Good God, this took forever uh, to get past. We've been trying to pass this since the first episode and we finally got it done. So that's gonna reduce the Shogun's power by even more. And thus, we're probably wanna go ahead and change up our government here soon, if not now. Uh, we'll take a look at the legitimacy. We'll also be able to increase that institution something I was hesitant to do so because of the fact that we didn't want to increase the Shogun's power anymore. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and increase the institution level here. I don't think it's really necessary. I mean, I would like to increase our suppression effectiveness. Yeah, I suppose we could do it if we had the, uh, the bureaucracy, but yeah, after doing this one, that'll be all of our bureaucracy, and we don't really want to, to build any government administration buildings right now. Uh, so we need to reform our government, or at least look and see what we could change this to. So we want to take the Shogun out of power, but is there anything we can do to, to make sure that the uh, legitimacy is at least at 25 here? So if you put them in power, that's 33. All right, I don't think there's going to be anybody else you can add here and not watch it drop. So like you put Intelligentsia in, it's, it's going down to five. Yeah, there's not really anybody we could add here due to the difference in ideology. Yeah, all of them are gonna cause problems. So it's just gonna be the industrialists and government with 33 legitimacy, so not very high. Uh, so we're gonna have some problems, but it's just kind of the nature of you know getting the Shogun out of government. Uh, so let's wanna confirm this. Very illegitimate government, but this is going to open up the laws that we can now enact. We have quite a few options. And I think we should really start with our economy because both of these are quite negative. Uh, I think maybe this one might be the first one we want to change over to interventionism uh, so that we'll at least get access to our investment pool. Yeah, I think we might want to go ahead and change that up. Also, you get rid of that taxation capacity problem. That should result in us getting most, if not all, of the unrealized taxes. We might have to build a few administration centers, but it'll be actually worth doing. Uh, so I think that should be the priority, despite the problems that we have with this one. You know, the, the lack of declared interest, the complete lack of, of the ability to trade, and the problem with technology here. But the thing is, it's given a 25% taxation capacity. So basically, these will kind of offset each other. And so you should probably enact this one first. Uh, so let's go and go with the interventionism. It's a 23% chance. Not bad here. Not bad at all. And it's not even going to piss off the Shogun that much. So we don't even radicalize them, which is nice. So yeah, it's just the industrialists and government. And you'll now notice that that journal entry has popped up. Uh, so in order to start the 10 year timer, so this is the honorable restoration. So we just looked at that here. We see that at the top here. It has now uh, been placed up to where we can see what we have to do simply because we removed the Shogun from government. However, that 10 year timer does not start until the Shogun's not powerful. And so we have to con uh, continue to, to reduce their power. That's what I was thinking maybe the mid-1870s is when the 10-year timer would begin. But yeah, we'll have a bunch of laws we can work on. So we do want to keep our authority high. And we might want to go ahead and start suppressing. Yeah, hmm. wonder what we can do on that front. Yeah, we can't cut down on the consumption taxes because we're now on the negative here. I think we might get rid of one of these. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get rid of one of these guys. Let's do, yeah, we'll just do that one. That was the last one we built. So bring that down a little bit to save a little bit of the money because yeah, we do not want to cut down consumption taxes at all. Also, we do not want to change up our taxation levels either because we need that legitimacy. Uh, we could get even more legitimacy if we went to the lowest taxes, but yeah, we really wouldn't be able to afford that right now unless we went with 
more consumption taxes and then you're losing the authority that we currently have. I suppose we could stop suppressing the intelligentsia and instead just do the Shogun because no matter what we want to suppress the Shogun. The question is, do we want to stop suppressing the intelligentsia? I don't want them to get all powerful. It's not going to make a huge difference, but uh, you know what? I think we're probably just going to leave it as is and just have the lower enactment time. I know we got all these laws that we're working on, but uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. So we do need to get some more bureaucracy, but I think we'll be all right to just wait until we get that law passed so we know uh, exactly where we want to, to build that based on what the, the current taxation rates there are. But yeah, we have a long line of stuff to, to work on here. We can go and see if there's anything else we want to add to it. Because, you know, we'll burn through that fairly quickly. I suppose wood... But if we're going to do that, then you'd have to fix the hardwood situation. Uh, so I suppose we can we can do that. Just produce less hardwood for now. I guess we got to go into the right department here, don't we? Uh, so yeah, just kind of maybe change up. Maybe change up this one here. I'm not entirely sure how much hardwood we need to, to get rid of. But let's see if that makes a, a change there. So now that's too much. All right, so we got a 10% enactment succession. All right, so laws are going pretty well for us in this episode. I don't want to be jinxing us here. Uh, but yeah, that was too much. I think the problem here, I think the problem here is that we have all large facilities. So I'm not really able to make like smaller adjustments. Hopefully that'll work since that's eight rather than 15. We can see guys. Yeah, hardwood's a much better price, but where's wood at? Yeah, that's actually in a pretty good price, too, so that worked out pretty nicely. Uh, so we got the vacuum canning. We're going to go ahead and change that up now. And then it's not in here. That is in here. And so that'll produce more groceries, bring the price down, which is excellent. Also, we're now going to have a need for oil, uh, so we can get more of the, the well and the industry built up. Uh, grain will get cheaper, and then fish will get more expensive. Let's go and pick a tech first before we uh, make those adjustments. And I don't know if there's anything here in production that we absolutely need right now. Are they going to even make much of a difference for us? So I think we're going to go ahead and start working on other techs. Uh, I really want to come back into society. Because, yeah, I think this is just more useful. But I still don't want to go through all these level 2 techs. Yeah, I don't think we're going to. We could use more authority and we want to get the identification identification documents. It's going to be four years to get these and we're not quite ready for the military. I suppose we could knock out some quicker level twos while these level twos get, uh, or at least some of them get researched here. Because, yeah, we got a lot of level two techs left to get. It's going to take time to get these. Uh, 15 months in total. But yeah, I just don't think that's the, the best thing to do. Let, let's just go for these two here, guys. And then from there, we might go into the, the military tax to start working on those. Because that does take a, a while. And we, we don't want to start working on them when we're ready to you know start conquering and attacking people. Uh, which will be a while from now. But still, we, we definitely don't want to do it last minute. And we got the hydraulic cranes. You know, some of those military, ta military tax are going to be gotten from the uh, tech spread. All right, so quite a few things that we can work on here. Uh, I suppose we'll start with the oil that we're going to get from the welling stations. That does increase mortality, of course. And it also grants us meat that we don't probably need at the moment. Let's just go and build all these in Kanto. So I'll put all those there. And we'll have to see where the prices are. I assume that oil will be uh, too low by that point. And then uh, fish is also needed. So let's go and get more fishing wharfs. And we're going to build those. I think we're going to build them here. Let's get like five of those. And then we need more tobacco. We don't have that building, do we? We do. Yeah, we've already got tobacco up here. Those just haven't been finished up yet. Uh, engines, we could do something for that. Uh, the fabric. Did we do the cotton plantations recently? We did not. 
All right, so yeah, we can go ahead and do the cotton plantations. So we'll get those constructed. And let's do, I think we're gonna start some here in the capital. I know that's probably a bit much, but it's fine. And then the uh, engines as well. We'll keep building those in our future capital. All right, so this looks pretty good, guys. I think there's anything else we have to adjust there. Uh, looking at our interest groups, the Shogun's down to 20.6%. So we just need to get it down to 19.9%, basically. And then we'll start to see this, this timer ticking. So hopefully, hey, we just got this done, excellent. All right, so we can now subsidize buildings, and then most importantly, we're going to be able to make use of that investment pool. So that'd be really helpful. You notice our, we got a ton of money now because of that. So very helpful also because of the uh, unrealized taxes. That should adjust here. Uh, it's not that much uh, adjustment. We didn't get access to as much of the unrealized taxes as I was expecting to. Seems like all this is just that investment pool transfer, which we have 8.75 million. So. That's going to be super helpful. And that will enable us to go ahead and go to the very low taxes so we can get the higher legitimacy, guys. So let's go ahead and change that up. Uh, we have no authority now, though, because of that change. And we need the, well, we don't need the consumption taxes, so we can get rid of that. But we still need to be suppressing and bolstering, so we'll have to keep that. Could also stop doing the encouraging uh, if we need to. Uh, but let's get rid of the consumption taxes first while we have this surplus. And this will really help our pops out. Uh, probably not the, the tax on, on services because it's such a huge amount at 19.6 thousand. So probably don't want to get rid of that. And we're in the positive for authority. So that's what's important. Uh, but let's go ahead and change up the next law, which is going to be getting rid of isolationism. Though I'm also tempted to change over to per capita tax right now to get more money. Because remember, when we move out of isolationism, we're actually going to lose a ton of money from that taxation capacity. Also, we're going to lose even more authority. Of course, you'll be able to start trading, so there is that. And that's going to be hugely profitable. But yeah, I think we might go ahead and change over to this first. We're at a 23% chance. That's pretty much all the laws, uh, since it's you know just the industrialists that are supporting this, and they're the only ones in government. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, do the per capita taxation first, I think. And this will irritate the Shogun and radicalize them and the trade union. So they might actually oppose this. Uh, but if you go over to one of these, you're going to get that too. In fact, if you go with the free trade, which is not what we would do, but would really piss them off if we did that. But I think we'd do the, probably the protectionism. I think that makes the most sense for us. So yeah, we'll go over to that one rather than free trade. But let's first uh, change up the the taxation right here. And let's just hope they don't get too irritated at us. They try and uh, cause a revolution, which is exactly what they're going to do. Okay, so we've got to be a little bit more careful with this because we don't want, yeah, we don't want a revolution, guys. All right, so let's go back in here and find something that isn't going to be so contentious with the, the Shogunate because they still have far too much power and uh, we've really irritated them as well. Uh, their opinion of us is not very high. So we need to wait till that kind of fades off a little bit. You know, some of the changes we made. Uh, our current legitimacy is 38, by the way. So a little bit higher now that we uh, got the very low taxes. And again, there's not much we can do with the reforming of the government either. You can see this is as high as it gets, it appears. Although I guess it's at 28. So if you just had the Buddhist monks in power, then you'd be at 42, but you still would not be in the contested government, so really no reason to change. Plus, all these laws that we're wanting to pass, the investors are the ones that have to support that. But we can see if there's anything that's less contentious, like going into the schools. Remember, we want to do the public schools. Uh, that'll increase the assimilation rate. And we don't want to increase the intelligentsia's political strength. So this is not as contentious. It's only going to irritate the Buddhist monks. So yeah, let's go and do that one and uh, help us get our, our literacy rate up higher so we can research faster. Uh, speaking of research, do we want to get, yeah, I mean, we could do one more university, why not? So yeah, we'll go ahead and do a university and we'll probably tick that up to the top here. 
And yeah, we're gonna build it here. So yeah, work on that first. Just trying to get the maximum amount of research that we can. We could even go over the cap, which would then uh, bleed into, or spill over, I should say, into the natural spread. Uh, you get a bonus if you're over your cap. I don't know if it's worth building universities for, but. And we definitely want to give all the credit to the industrialists. Trying to get that Shogun weaker. The 20.7%. Just gotta keep building, guys. Just gotta keep building to further weaken them. The monks are still doing pretty well here at 19%. And all the gold has been depleted there. So we'll get that event, which we'll just do the uh, unfortunate. And then we're gonna wanna go ahead and get those mines producing. Oops, that's sulfur. We want gold. And we want to get it all the way up to level 5. And I should have threw that to the top because this is important. So it's the only thing more important is the university. And it's also almost done. So I really try and get those gold mines done to get us more money. And then maybe we can get some authority back if we could. Uh, well, I guess we can't turn off the, the one consumption tax we're doing. Uh, because services, you just get so much from that. You know, 20,000 almost is what we're currently getting. Also, I'm seeing the bureaucracy is currently a problem, so we got a lot of tax waste there. Uh, so we need to work on that as well uh, with the government administration buildings. I guess we'd want to see like where the taxation capacity is the worst. In some places, it's probably not even that bad. Yeah, you can see that you're not even having any problems there. So probably just the, the most highly populated locations. Yeah. Okay, so most of our states, <laughs> they still need it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a bunch of government administration buildings. And the unfortunate thing about building these is it's going to put us far in the negative. Uh, because the reason why we have so much money is because we're using an investment pool. And of course, you can't use that for the government administration building. So we do have to be cautious here. We have a nice uh, gold reserve, though. So I guess it's not that big of a problem. Uh, let's do two there, two here. I don't know, like five here. It's gonna be needed. Uh, a lot of them are gonna be needed in these areas. Let's go up by, I don't know. Honestly, we need a lot of these. Well, that's not even gonna be enough. I don't think. But yeah, we don't we don't wanna spend too long on it, I suppose. Even that, I think, is, is too much for how long we wanna spend working on it. So we might work them around a little bit. So we're not doing them all at the same time. Uh, academic assistance. The teachers of our higher institutions of learning have offered to advise the government in the implementation of the new public schools. So we say we'd be happy to have their help. That'll reduce the university building throughput. So not a good thing, but we get a 20% enactment success, success chance. Or we can say their research work is more important. And that means that uh, we're still gonna get a bonus here without the penalty. So let's go with that. That's a clear choice there, in my opinion. The university is too important to get such a big penalty. So yeah, we're doing pretty good here, but you can see that the Shogun's actually getting more powerful. Another thing we could do to reduce the power of the Shogun and increase the power of other interest groups is military leaders. I haven't made use of this at all. It doesn't make a huge difference, uh, but yeah, it's, it's one thing we could do. Uh, so let's go ahead and just see if there's anybody who's not part of the Shogun. Hey, you got the Intelligentsia. You don't really want to get them more powerful. Uh, but yeah, we could do him, I suppose. Let's see if there's anybody here. Here's a samurai. Yeah, that'll work. And another samurai here. He's meticulous and offensive planner. We actually need quite a few anyways. I think five would probably be enough. And it's not going to make a huge difference, guys, but... Uh, and how you got two Shogun candidates, so you don't want to pick either of those. But it'll help. It gives a little bit of clout, having the, the generals. So hopefully it'll reduce the Shogun's power by a small smidgen. Uh, you see the Samurai might get a little more powerful as well. The Intelligentsia, of course, got more powerful too, because we, we hired one of those. So yeah, what I'm thinking is like, I don't know. Bringing the motor industries down some, so you can at least be... Oh, good God. <laughs> we're trying to get it down some, but it keeps we keep getting stuff built. But yeah, when we're not using any of the investment pool, or not much of it anyways, 
I guess currently, yeah, we're barely using any of it now, so that's just getting stacked into there. But yeah, when we're not using that, you see we will spend a lot of money, but that's okay. That's okay, guys. So once we finish up with all these government administration buildings, then we'll really start plowing into the economy, start uh, building tons of stuff. We could step up our construction since we will have so much in that investment pool. We're at 12.8 million at the moment. So yeah, we'll be able to build a lot more. But yeah, we got to get the, the tax waste situation dealt with, with that bureaucracy. And you know, there's other institutions we'd like to build up higher. Debate over whether the new public schools should have separate classes for male and female students and perhaps a different curricula as well is causing disagreements over how to implement the new education system. So this would give us a 15% enactment time, so reduction, so we'd bring it down while irritating the Shogun and the Buddhist monks. Or we could say we should work out two separate branches and that will actually increase the enactment time. We're probably just going to have to irritate them. I don't really want to do that, but uh, yeah. Let's just get this done, guys. See, so yeah, that's going to result in them being unhappy with us and we'll get less money from them, unfortunately. So yeah, we're going to be losing a lot of that uh, gold reserves that we built up while we build all of these government administration buildings, but that's okay. So this is a nice event that plays out for the industrialists quite often, getting you a free university. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. Because eventually we'll we'll find that we do need more uh, innovation. As of right now, you see we are already at our cap here. Let me see if there's any bleed over. Yeah, a little bit, 0.35 from unspent innovation, not much. I don't really think it's worth building universities just for that, for the bleed over. But it's nice that at least you get something if you happen to, to have too many. And it's not just completely wasted. Because just having a cap, it's probably necessary. It's probably necessary to have a cap because otherwise you could just build a ton of universities and then just easily fly through the tech tree. So I understand needing to have a cap in this particular case. I think it is probably necessary. But yeah, when you have a cap, on anything it just sucks when you you waste when something's wasted so we're at 20.4 percent uh law enforcement has been increased i'd like to get that up higher but of course we got to get all these government administration buildings constructed first and we got the public schools all right excellent so that'll help us get the uh, literacy rate up faster also we'll be able to assimilate as well but uh with the assimilation that doesn't happen unless they're accepted an accepted culture. And there's not really too many cultures we accept under our current laws at the moment. So probably not gonna get much benefit from the assimilation. Of course, with the conversion of the religion, it's the exact opposite. Uh, they'll, com they'll convert if they are being discriminated against, where with the assimilation, they only assimilate if they aren't being uh, you know, discriminated against based on their, their culture. Uh, so we've gotten the public schools. We cannot do private health insurance at the moment because we haven't gotten the tech for it. So can't go with that. Could go ahead and go with the poor laws. I thought there was some support for that, but it's gone now. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, no longer any support for it. But yeah, I could have gotten that passed a little bit faster. Could go with the migration controls. That doesn't irritate the Shogun. Well, it does give us some bonuses here with some of the other interest groups. So it could do that. We're just trying to make sure we don't piss off the, the Shogun. And that's the reason why, of course, we can't change out of isolationism just yet. Let me see where they're at on their opinion. Still pretty bad, negative five. So yeah, we don't want to do it just yet. We're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, same thing with this one. This one also pisses off the Shogun. Uh, so this one here would, it's a negative five. Yeah, so still radicalizes them. Can't do that. Uh, we could get rid of the colonial fairs. Since we're not colonizing anywhere at the moment until we get that one tech, we can't colonize Papua. And I don't want to do any colonizing of Africa. I don't think that makes much sense for us. But I would like to do Papua. So we might as well keep it for now. Yeah, I think we should keep it. We won't get rid of the... Uh, I mean, it'd be nice to save us a little bit of bureaucracy, but it's really not much, guys. Well, basically, since the poor laws would piss off the Shogun, the only real choice here is the migration controls. So I suppose that's what we'll do. 
And maybe just go to the, yeah, just go to migration controls rather than no migration controls. This would only be against discriminated pops uh, because this one here would radicalize the peasants. So we'll just go with that one. There's 22% chance of success. Of course, we did lose that bonus from the peasants. Not happy about us attempting to pass this. In fact, they even started up a, a movement here against us to preserve the closed borders. So all of these movements will likely result in some more radicals, though our number of radicals is pretty low. Not too bad at all, guys. We haven't really had problems with radicals in this playthrough so far. I'm really hoping we can get them down here soon. Because, yeah, like I said, I want to get it done for the, uh, the mid-1880s. We're almost there, guys. And, well, that's the noble privileges being deactivated. Okay, so we've gotten them to negative four. All right, so they should no longer be considered powerful, right? So they're below 20%, but they're still considered powerful. Maybe it just hasn't popped up yet. I hope it happens soon. Because, yeah, they shouldn't be considered powerful anymore. That's strange. I thought it would just be like a week or whatever, and then it would... That would do the trick, but yeah, their power just keeps on declining, and they're still considered powerful, uh, which should not be the case. Like, if you look at this, interest groups are considered powerful while their clout is above 20%. And so, yeah, they should have lost that. I'm not entirely sure why they're not, which is a shame. Yeah, that's a shame because this does not start until that uh, requirement is fulfilled. So yeah, real bummer. Uh, losing a ton of money at the moment with all these government administration buildings being constructed. Uh, but yeah, we gotta keep on, on building them. Uh, but what we'll do, because we'll probably need even more than this, is we'll slowly work them in uh, after this point so we can actually make use of some of that investment pool here. And is this for the migration controls? Yeah. So let's go with... I don't really want to decrease the interest group approval of the samurai. We're just going to go with this one. I don't think that would result in the Shogun going above 20% again, but uh, yeah, we just don't want to decrease anybody's power except for them. Yeah, this is a bummer. I'm not entirely sure why it's not taken off here, guys. They shouldn't be considered powerful anymore. Yeah, it's not because of... Hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know what it's because of, guys. Uh, but we've gotten the legitimacy up to 36 here. So getting that ticked up. And also we're not making use of any of our construction. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at the economy and see what needs to be improved. So it looks like we need quite a few things. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the coffee plantations, which these will be built, which we don't, we don't need to do these. I mean, we don't really need to do it. I'm not entirely sure why there's any pop consumption. I'm guessing somebody moved to our country who is obsessed with the coffee. Yeah, I'm assuming that's like a certain culture, probably just a few pops. We don't really need to do that. Uh, we eventually might want to get the coffee plantations. But once we put that out in the economy, people are going to start wanting it. And then we're going to have to build a bunch of them. And we don't want to do that. Simply because we just don't have the population on the islands to really support it yet. And if I was to do anything with this, it would be fruit. So yeah, we're not going to do the coffee plantations. Just that one pop <laughs> that's... Uh, Drinking coffee, we'll just have to pay the high prices. Sugar, do we want to do anything about that? Where's the grain prices currently? They could go a little bit lower, I suppose. Yeah, we'll build up the rice farms a little bit. And also, it looks like we need to do something about the the rails here. So we want to build that up further. Uh, let's go up to 25 here. And 25 here as well. Since you had to build a lot of those to make any dent in the sugar prices. And then we'll go ahead and get some textile mills. So we'll get uh, two over here. No, actually, let's go ahead and, and really just step that up a lot. And then also the furniture. We'll do that as well. Furniture manufacturers. Then fish. We'll definitely do some fishing wharfs here. Let's just go ahead and finish them out. And maybe get one over here since they have a bit of population. They probably don't have much of an economy there. And then the porcelain, yeah, we could definitely still do the glass because you see glass is at 15% now. Highest it's been for quite some time. We'll continue to do that on Shikoku. 
We'll get five levels there. Looks like we need the tobacco now as well. So we'll get more tobacco plantations, and I think we should continue building them here. And we got the pharmaceuticals. Excellent. That'll be helpful eventually. And I suppose we could do the wood if hardwood's not too bad. And then we're definitely want to do paper with all this construction we've done. Yeah, hardwood's not bad at all. Looks like we can finally kind of balance that out all right. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do more logging camps. Maybe just two here where we have the, the hardwood. Oh, you can only do one more there. All right, so that looks good for now. Something about inefficient agriculture. We'll just lose the approval with the industrialists. They should pr be uh, pretty happy with us. Also, we lost the Hawaiian obligation, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a bummer. Should have looked and see if we could have made use of that. Too late now, though. Uh, and then we need to get more paper mills. And we're going to do these here. Maybe, yeah, seven. Try and get the paper prices down. Uh, tobacco. I want to do that as well. It looks like we're already doing tobacco. Okay, never mind then. The oil could bring that price down by a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the oil as well at those welling stations. And we got the migration controls passed. All right, excellent. So are we in a point where we can get another one? So let's see if we can get any laws passed that doesn't piss them off too much. So I think the one we we're talking about doing is probably the trade policy, right? Yeah, that's not that bad, guys. So I think we're gonna do that one next. Or was it the taxation? Yeah, it was the taxation, but even that's not that bad. So we're gonna do that first. Yeah, a lot more money this time than what we would have gotten. So let's do the, the taxation first. And then we'll do the the change up of the, the trade policy. Because we'll be losing all that authority. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. And also that taxation capacity. So there's a lot to consider here. While well, you want the trade, obviously, I mean, it would be fantastic. But yeah, you're gonna, you get some pretty hefty penalties there. So let's do this one first. Got our economy looking good. And then what we could do is then turn off the uh, uh, all the, the consumption taxes. I think that would be helpful. All right, so I think there's still a few things that I was wanting to get here. Uh, so we can go ahead and do the shipping industry. So we'll do another shipping yard. And probably continue building these over here. And I think that's probably good for now. Yeah, we got a lot being constructed at the moment. Uh, in fact, now that we're again working on this sort of stuff here, Let's go ahead and step up the construction sector again, which I did forget. We want to make sure those get ticked up to the top. So I know this is going to put us a little bit in the negative, but that's okay because I think we're going to be in a much better position eventually. And uh, let's go ahead and enact a couple institutions here. We'll do the education and the law enforcement. And remember, we still need more government buildings as well, so that's something to consider. Uh, so we'll want to do just a few of these and kind of work them in there, uh, not not get too crazy with it. it. Looks like we're still currently building up a few of these. Let me just take a look and see how we're doing in these areas. Yeah, it's still pretty low. Just about everywhere. Except for here. We're doing all right there. You could probably just build one more here and, and be all right. Yeah, like one or two more. So not too bad there, but uh, most other places seem to be still in the negative if they were before. All right, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get a few of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tick this one up at the top since that'll fix their issue. Let's get a couple over here. I think we need like a bunch over here because of their high population. And then maybe get a few more over here as well. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then we'll just want to work those in, which I'll do that off camera. Kind of work in those government administration buildings. So we're never producing like too many at a time. We can make use of that investment pool of ours. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. We got a lot done, a lot of laws passed. Really did a lot to get in the Shogun 
decreased in power, but he's still powerful. In fact, they're now up to 20.1%, so something we did increased their power, unfortunately. So we need to take a look at that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we could have done. Maybe constructed some sort of building that they were uh, working in. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Just reduce the power of somebody else. That could have caused an issue as well. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.